Hello, how's it going? Zach D Productions here. So 2023 is just in a couple of months now, so I figured now would be a good time to go over some of my most anticipated movies of 2023, and I'll just be going over five of them in this video. Now, there are others that I'm looking forward to, like uh, perhaps the second Dune movie and the next Scream movie as well. I'll definitely check those out whenever those come out, but yeah, I guess you could say that those are some honorable mentions, but yeah, I just wanted to narrow this list down to five movies, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first one I want to go over here is Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. This is going to be the third Ant-Man film, and yeah, I do like the first two Ant-Man films, so I'm definitely looking forward to this one. I've heard that um, they actually might kill off uh, Ant-Man in this one. I really hope not. That's going to be really sad. And I think the reason that someone said that or started that rumor was because I, I guess someone saw one of the scenes of the trailer and it looked a lot like the ending to Endgame with Tony Stark and, you know, right before, you know, he takes the uh, Infinity Stones from Thanos. Uh, supposedly it looks a lot like that scene. So, I mean, it's possible... But, I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see with this one. I mean, it would be a sad way to conclude the Ant-Man trilogy, but... Yeah, we'll have to see what they do. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to this one. Apparently, this will be the film to introduce Kang in the MCU. Not too familiar with Kang as a character, but... Uh, I'm sure I'll have a little bit more knowledge after seeing this movie. I'm definitely intrigued by this one. Uh, definitely one of my most anticipated Marvel films of 2023 for sure. Definitely looking forward to seeing what they do. So Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. So the next one is another Marvel film, Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Yeah, of course, another third one. Um... I definitely enjoyed the first two, so yeah, definitely looking forward to Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Um, supposedly, this one will focus more on the raccoon character, Rocket, and what is my thoughts on that about him being, you know, a main plot point in this movie? I really don't have any issue with that. Um, I'm curious to see what they do with it, but yeah... Uh, I'm sure it'll be a good one because, well, the first two were good, so this one here will probably be good as well. But, yeah, I'm hoping it'll be good anyways. So, yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Next, we're going to go ahead and move on to the non-Marvel-related films. So, next, we have The Expendables 4. Now, The Expendables, I feel like, does get kind of a bad rep with uh, some reviewers, some critics, and just... I guess a lot of other film nerds in general. Um, I actually kind of like the Expendables films. Now, yes, there are movies that are more forgettable than others. Like, I think the second one is maybe the most forgettable one, but I thought even that one was good. And I don't think that there ever has been a bad Expendables film, but I do think that the first one is probably the best one. Um, and it has been a while since we've gotten a... Uh, Expendables film. I believe the last one came out in 2014, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to this one. Um, I do wonder what took them so long to come out with the fourth one, you know, after all this, all this time, but who knows? Maybe they'll have some explanation for that. Maybe they really want to make this one good, or maybe they've, you know, been taking the words of the critics too close to heart or something and maybe they just really want to focus on making this one good but yeah um you know with the expendables you know i really like uh, a lot of the actors in it like of course sylvester salone who is of course uh in the classic rambo um and you also got jason statham uh, another legendary actor but yeah definitely looking forward to the fourth expendables film so next we have john wick 4 and the entire John Wick trilogy is just a masterpiece, in my opinion. I honestly think that the John Wick trilogy is maybe one of the best trilogies of this generation. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. 
I don't think that there ever has been a bad one in the trilogy. I thought all three of them were excellent. And, you know, after really thinking about it, I honestly think that the third one is maybe the best one out of all of them. So it does seem like that they do keep getting better with each one. Although I do think that the second one, even though I like it a lot and it's a great movie, it probably is the weakest among the trilogy. That's just my opinion, though. I do think that the first and the third one are just a little bit better, but not by much, of course. Yeah, definitely looking forward to the next John Wick film. Of course, Keanu Reeves, legendary actor. Looking forward to this one for sure. So lastly, the last movie here, the next Indiana Jones film. Uh, pretty much known at, at this point as Indiana Jones 5, which we know that's not what it, it'll be called, but yeah, the next Indiana Jones film. I'm definitely looking forward to it, and uh, it's obviously been a long time since the last Indiana Jones movie. The last one was Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, which I actually do kind of like. Um, I know that some people really crap on the movie. Some people say that it's garbage. I actually like the movie. Now, I don't know if it's because it was my first Indiana Jones film, and that's why I have a little bit more appreciation for it. Uh, because I was even really young when Kingdom of, of the Crystal Skull came out. So, yeah, I just have a little bit more appreciation for it, I guess. Uh, and that was my introduction to Indiana Jones. Uh, but, of course, I would say that the, the classics are better. But, yeah, ap apparently, according to some people, because uh, apparently some people have seen some exclusive footage or trailers or something for it, and apparently, from what people have been saying, it's sounding pretty promising. There's people that are saying that it's already looking better than Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. So, yeah, we'll have to see. Um, I do bet that this will be the final chapter for uh, Harrison Ford as Indiana Jones. I mean, obviously, he's aged a lot. And, I mean, if they do decide to do another Indiana Jones film, I mean, who knows how long that'll take to come out, so... I do bet that this will be the final chapter for Indiana Jones. So, yeah, I'm expecting it to be rather emotional, too. So, uh, this is one that I'm likely going to see at the theater for sure. Um, in fact, I might, e I might see all of these movies in the theater. Um, but, yeah, definitely looking forward to the new Indiana Jones movie. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Are you looking forward to any of these movies? Do you think 2023 will be a solid year for movies? I personally think it will. Now, like I said, there's other movies here that I haven't mentioned that really could be good that I probably will check out as well. But again, I just wanted to name five of these movies. Some of the ones that instantly come to mind of the ones that I'm looking forward to the most. These are definitely some of them. So let me know what you guys think. Are you looking forward to any of these movies? Let me know. So... With that said, thank you for watching and have a good one.